Hello everyone, I'm back with another Black Needle Society unboxing. This one is exciting. This one I've been looking forward to for an entire year. This is Frogworth year two, everybody. I know a lot of unboxings, I don't uh, show my face, I just show the box, usually because I'm in my pajamas or something, but um, this one deserved a full video, you know? All right, so I'm opening the box. Ooh. And full disclaimer, um, I am friends with Katie and Lara of the Black Needle Society, um, but they don't tell me what's gonna be in here. So they will talk about like prepping the boxes and oh, you know, we just, we finished picking out what we're gonna put in this or this or that box, but they don't like tell me what's gonna be in it. Um, so I've just like been getting all of these unsatisfying morsels for a year. <laughs> So, I uh, could not be more excited to be opening this box right now. Um, and I love this. Alright, so just looking at the back of the spoiler card, we have Athena's so cool FFO of Frogwarts Year One. So, that's fantastic. Then we've got uh, Chloe here working on finishing in the mirror, um, which... If you've stitched your one, you know that was a lot of white stitching. <laughs> and then we've got two martini stitcher here. Um, so it's fun to see some friends here on the bottom. But anyway, so this is the year two box. This is Chamber of Secrets, y'all. Um, and I know I said this in my last floss tube. Um, but I just want to say it again in case you haven't watched that. Um, I just want to put it out there. I'm excited about this box. I'm a Harry Potter fan. Um, I am not a fan of JK Rowling or the things that she has said and done. Um, I think they're damaging and harmful and I do not want to support her, um, in, in any way. Which is why I'm so excited about this box because um, Katie and Laura work really hard to support small businesses. Um, they aren't like buying lots of official merch and stuff. Um, so I, like I think that's an awesome way to continue to be a Harry Potter fan and to just like say a big F you to JK Rowling. All right, so I'm just pulling the first thing off the top of the box here. Um, this looks like a scarf or some kind of fabric. Sorry for the crinkle. I think this is a pillow. This is a pillow. Oh my God. <laughs> so this is a pillow cover um, of the burrow. Um, we've gotten pillow covers in boxes before. I have yet to figure out a pillow insert situation for it, um, but this is gonna make me figure it out because I cannot wait to have this on a pillow in my house. Oh man, <gasps> look at the little chicken in the bottom corner. <laughs> it's so cute. So it just says at the bottom, there's no place like the burrow, which I love. Um, there's a little gnome, a garden gnome over here. Um, any other little tidbits? No, I think those are the exciting bits. Oh man, I love this so much. Okay. Next thing that I'm seeing right off the top is Polyjuice Potion Tea. So the last tea, there is a bug on my box. Get away. Um, the last tea that we got in a Black Needle box was the Lost in Austin box. And I'm completely obsessed with that tea. So I'm so excited to find out what this is. This is, um, looks like apple, hibiscus, rosehip, blueberry, and butterfly pea. So this is caffeine free. It just looks like a, an herbal. So I'm gonna open it and smell it and try to not get loose leaf tea all over my office. Ooh, that's gorgeous. That just like smells like straight up blueberry. That smells really good. So that's, I don't wanna dump it out, but I mean, it's just got like huge flower pieces and apple pieces. 
I'm gonna really enjoy that. That's gonna be a nice summer tea as well because it'll be really light and fruity. It might even do a really nice iced tea. I don't really like iced tea, but if iced tea is your thing, uh, I would try icing that. All right, next thing I'm seeing off the top is a rubber ducky bar of soap, which is so cute because obviously Arthur Weasley is the best. Um, scent is Mr. Bubble. I don't know what that scent could possibly be. It doesn't smell super strongly through the package, so I bet it's just like a fresh, clean scent. Um, I'm not a huge bar soap person, but I'm excited to try this out, and my boyfriend really likes bar soap, so it'll be nice and cute in our shower, and he'll get to use it. <laughs> but maybe I'll like it. If I like it, then uh, he's gonna have to find something else to wash his body with. <laughs> All right, so we've got um, this awesome wax seal. Uh, it's a little hard to see on camera, but it says owl post service with an owl on it. Um, so that's super cute. I wonder what is in here. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's awesome. It looks like it's a travel mirror. So you're going to get to see my camera set up and my messy desk here. Um, but on the other side is Professor Lockhart and the, um, Pixies and it's like a really nice, uh, like soft touch material. Um, that is so cool. I think I probably won't use this as a mirror. I think I'll probably just display this on my Harry Potter shelf because the art is gorgeous. <laughs> but the fact that it's a mirror, I mean, so fitting, right? I love that. I'm just like making a pile of packaging on the floor here. <laughs> All right, so next I'm opening up this green pouch. Ooh, oh, this looks like thread jewelry. And it's got a charm of Riddle's diary. Oh, how cool is that? With the basilisk fang. Seriously, my battery's gonna die mid-video. This isn't even a long video. I just didn't change my battery before I started. That's obnoxious. I'm gonna go fix that before it cuts out in something important. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we're back. Hopefully you can't hear my boyfriend in a meeting in the other room. All right, next thing I see out of this box is, uh, this one just has the Hogwarts Crest wax seal. I love wax seals so much. And I have one, and I've never used it. What do we have here? <laughs> that is so fun. So, um, this is from It's Charm School, and this is a, um, a beading minder. And in the base, so it looks like a little pie tin, but it's got spiders going across it. And there's also a spider here on the side. And it's a needle minder. And it came with a little pouch. So I assume that has like a beading insert in it. Like a little tacky yeah so it's got like a little tacky insert and I think this is just paper on both sides you can see in the middle it's clear so um I'm not gonna put this on right now because I don't have anything to you to be right now um but so you probably just stick it in here and then it's clear so I bet you can even see the spiders through it um and then you can put beads in here and they'll just sort of stick there until you can grab them up with your needle. So that's super cool. And it's really lightweight. Um, so I was worried that when I saw that these were coming out, I was worried that it would just be like really heavy on my project, but um, pretty lightweight. So that's super cool. Next, we have some uh, floss, 
So this is um, the same packaging as last year, which was super fun. Um, every flavor floss, I just love that so much. So last year it was color and cotton. So, and it looks like we've got color and cotton again, which thrills me. Ooh, okay, so we have sherbet lemon. We have cinnamon, it's a beautiful like red, brown color. We have butterbeer, nice golden color. We have soap. I assume these are all um, every flavor bean flavors and black pepper. Yeah, they definitely are. So that's fun, continuing the theme from last year. I really like that a lot. All right, next. We have a box, which I am nearly certain contains a mug, um, because I knew for a fact that Katie was working on a mug, which I think she's talked about. Um, so the the top of the box is Borgen and Burke's Purveyor of Dark Arts. So I wonder if this is going to be a dark arts themed mug, because Harry goes to Nocturne Alley for the first time in this book. Ooh! So this looks like it's just a Nocturne Alley scene. So we have the flu powder, which is how Harry gets there. He chokes on ash and does not speak clearly. And then Hagrid rescues him and then takes him to Flourish and Blotts where uh, he meets Professor Lockhart. That is... Now that I've shown it to you, I have to like look at it up closer. Oh wow. And now this art is done entirely by Katie. She does this whole, she does all of this. So like all the detailing, everything on here is all her. Love it. And we've got this huge mug again this year, which I absolutely love my year one mug. I love it. It fits like a double cup of tea, which I very much appreciate. So really excited to have another one. Um, and it's just so cool looking. I love it. I love it. I love it. Put that so that it doesn't fall off my desk. All right, then looks like we have some thread drops. We have, uh, these look like they're gonna be potions. So we've got Skelligro. We have Mandrake Restorative Drought. We have Phoenix Tears. We have Polyjuice Potion. And we have Flu Powder. Not really a potion, but you know, magical object all the same. Neither is really Phoenix Tears. Um, but all of these extremely relevant to book two, so those are really gorgeous. I'll have to check the spoiler card, but I have a feeling Katie designed these as well. All right, so the next thing I see here is, whoops, and my box is starting to tip. Let me rearrange one second. So the next thing I see here is a gigantic project bag. This appears to have mandrakes getting up to mischief. Oh man, I gotta take this out of the plastic. Apologies for the crinkle, but this is beautiful. I have a feeling Katie did not design this. So I really wanna see on the spoiler card who did so that I can go buy more things from whoever this artist is because it's hysterical. <laughs> These look the tiniest bit like baby Groots, which I think is very funny. <laughs> I've got one just like taped to the wall. <laughs> we have two other mandrakes that are taping it to the wall. <laughs> we have, we have a, a couple making out over here. We have one coming out of a phonograph. Uh, oh my gosh, these are, <laughs> we have 
one. Oh, where is he? Right here at the bottom, getting high off of mushrooms. <laughs> we have one here getting stuck or getting scared by a spider web. <laughs> we have, I guess the, the back is the opposite way. So I'm looking at the back and then having to uh, struggle with hand-eye coordination to point it out to you. We have one, he two here in the bottom, one's fallen asleep and the other one is riding all over him. So fun. So this is just one big pocket, um, but this is massive. So this is gonna fit a real big project, which I I just I can't get over how cool that is. That is so so much fun. All right, next we've got a headband. So I have a couple of these now. These are from uh, Fable Bands, so um, this is now my third Fable Bands headband, thanks to the Black Needle Society. And this has all of the uh, Weasley clocks. It's just full of Weasley clocks, which is really fun. All right, and finally, we have a needle minder and uh, we all knew that there was going to be a needle minder in this box. There's always a needle minder in the box. Um, I believe, because it has my name on the back, that it is a personalized needle minder. And based on the color and the picture on the front, I'm going to suspect that this is um, going to be Howler themed. <laughs> the front says, Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? Gotta love Molly Weasley. Um, but so we don't know what they're going to look like. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Oh man, that's cool. Look at that. That's so neat. Very, very cool. All right. And then finally, we have the pattern. Uh, Katie has already released what this looks like, but now I have it in my possession. Um, I've also registered to get a digital copy, and this year Katie has made a Pattern Keeper version available. Now, I have not used Pattern Keeper for anything that isn't um, full coverage, so but I selected that version for a couple of reasons. Um, one, the format is very standardized, so I know exactly what it's gonna be like, and it's gonna count my stitches for me. Um, so I'll know how close I am to finishing, and I'll know how much I've done, um, and that is really attractive for me because we're not allowed to start stitching on it if we wanna compete for the challenge um, until the 27th. It is the 22nd, I believe, today, um, and so I gotta hang on to this for five days. <laughs> but then um, I can stitch on this for the week before, or is it two weeks? I think it's two weeks um, that we have before Frogwarts starts. So um, that means that I'll need to pace myself and make sure that I'm getting enough done every day to, um, you know, not have to stay up all night every night during the retreat like I did last time to finish this. Um, so I am gonna make sure that I have all my materials in order. I ordered everything um, through Cecilia's, so I should have everything, um, but I know there were a couple of flosses that were back ordered, so, um, but I think I have them from last year. So I'm gonna get everything together. Um, I'm gonna make sure that my starting spot is counted to um, and that everything is ready to go so that I can get started on the 27th. I cannot wait to stitch this. I love this pattern. I think it's absolutely beautiful in case you haven't seen it yet. That's what it looks like. That basilisk is gonna be brutal. Um, but uh, it looks like the only other, besides the bottom border, which is um, similar to last time, but then it looks like the other largest element is um, 
the burl. That's going to be similar, I think, in stitching to fluffy, um, maybe a little bit smaller. And then it looks like the Whomping Willow is also going to be some serious stitching. So I'm definitely going to pace myself, definitely um, going to go for a finish by the end of the retreat. So um, overall, a fantastic box. I'm trying to think of what was my favorite thing and I, I really can't it's not fair <laughs> I mean the mug is like such a personalized thing you can't get this anywhere else um I think I think that's got to be my favorite but really there wasn't a thing in here I didn't love so thank you so much to Katie and Lara and Athena and your families for helping to pack um just thank you for all of your hard work uh to make this a fun retreat for us. Um, it's already off to a great start, so thank you. Uh, all right, thanks for hanging out with me. I will try and get this uh, edited and uploaded in the next day or so. I've also got my my regular floss tube um, going up. That's going to be a stitch a stitch con recap. So if you haven't watched that, head on over to that because um, that'll be up before this. And. Yeah, then I'm just gonna like try and get all my other stitching goals in so that I can just completely focus <laughs> on Frog Awards next week. Uh, I hope you have a, a good one and I'll see you at the retreat. Can't wait.